last customizing session when I was working on Prime, I uh, put out the question if anybody want to see uh, how I do uh, paint eyes. I had quite a few people it's like want to see that, and so we we're going to paint some eyes on the alternate head. I got a few various colors of shades of paint. Prime's got brown eyes. I got various shades of brown, some black, some flesh tone, the warm flesh tone, and some white. First up, we'll start with black. First thing I do, well, need these two. Uh, these are super strong reading glasses, stronger than I actually need. But works great when you try to zoom in for close detail. Well, the first things I do when, uh, with painting eyes, I paint the top of the eye. I get that black line up top. And you can be a little, uh, if your hand's not super steady at first, you can actually touch up the flesh tones. After that dries, I come in with the white. Okay. Let's go ahead to get the black on the eyes on this one. I actually have a fresh brush I haven't used before. Trying to get where I can get in here and work on this, and you see what I'm doing at the same time because I got some big old ham hocks for hands. Do little practice strokes just to warm up a little bit before I put paint on my brush. See where one of the paint to flow. A little clean up on the head right quick. Just a tiny bit of paint on my brush. Sorry, I had to readjust the camera and trying to get up close and stare at it. I kept hitting the fitting. That holds the camera mount. Okay, that's one side. Get a little too much on the on it, like I did the other side. Don't worry about it. We're gonna be painting white over top of that anyway. Okay, we got the, the top lines taken care of. We'll let this dry and I'll come back with the white paint. Let's go ahead and get the paint the whites of the eyes. I'm gonna try to hold the part hard, as firm as I can, push against my other finger. Steady my other hand when I'm painting. Take a deep breath. And don't you don't have to try to cover with one coat. You can come back and add more. If 
you don't st stay within the boundaries of the eye when you're painting the whites, don't worry. You can clean it up with some flesh tone afterwards. That's what I usually do. I'll do a, uh, you'll, well, you'll see. <laughs> Used to do this much more difficult. I would actually add the the black line above the eye, like for the represents the eyelashes. I used to do that after I would paint the eyes, which makes it much more difficult. It's like why? Wasn't too bad though. I would use these fine art Prismacolor double zero five fine uh, art pens. You can. Super fine tip. You can actually use these to paint the colors of the eyes as well, but I'm going to be using paint for this process. Okay, let's let the first coat dry. We'll come back and hit it with another coat of white. And we're ready to start adding color for our iris. Get ready for the second coat of white on the eyes. Take a breath. Don't breathe. Exhale. <laughs> Hope you can see what I'm doing. It's focusing on the head and not my big ham hock hands. We have good coverage. And with this dry, we'll come back and paint the irises. And we're ready to start painting irises. I like to do two colors for my irises. I'm gonna take some burnt sienna and some black. Mix up a really dark brown. As for the base, and we'll come back with a leather brown for the light of the eye. Let's mix up some dark brown. Mix up way more than what I need, but I really have more, too much than not enough. By doing a base darker color of the eye, the color of your iris, you can get that natural edge like a real eye you could also just use black as your edge color but i like to mix up some a darker version of what my iris is going to be this will dry dry a different color than what you got mixed up as well so take that into account i'm going to use took a piece of styrene sharpen both edges this is a really fine point this one's more of a blunt point i'm gonna use the blunt point for this this is a little bit bigger head i want to use the fine point Well, that sounds counterintuitive, but I need larger iris than what I usually make on a regular legend's head. You want your, actually I'm going to go to the brush. This guy's got some big old eyeballs. You want your iris to touch both the bottom and top of the eyelid lids. I 
I usually just tap. I'm gonna try to get these as round as possible. Well, it's hard to do it's the skill and keep your hands steady. It's got a little bit of bleeding on the bottom of the eye, but that's nothing to worry about. I want to take some warm flesh tone go underneath the bottom of the eyelid. Once it's dry, we'll go to our next step. Okay, we have the, the darker color of the iris is painted on. It's dry. Like I said, it looks a little sloppy at the bottom. We'll clean that up here. That's one of the last steps we do is clean that up. I want the lighter color, I want to do the lighter color of the iris, uh, leather brown. Ready to start painting the lighter color of the iris. You can see, just using a little touch, dabbing it on with my paintbrush, leaving the ring of the darker brown around the eye Let this dry up and come back and paint the pupils. Right, it's time to paint some uh, pupils on through the eyes. For that, I'm going to use my sharpened styrene rod. A touch of black. One down, one to go. Add a little bit more to this one. Pupils done. Let those dry a little bit, and we'll put the spectral highlight onto the eyes. Okay, we let that the. Uh, the pupils dry. I'm going to put a little bit of spectral highlight onto the eyes using the same sharpened styrene rod. I'm going to come back and touch up the pupils just a little bit. You know, go back and touch up the, the pupils. Gives you like a nice C shape up to your spectral highlight. A little crescent shape. And we're going to go ahead to touch up the bottom edge of the eyes. You see they're a little sloppy at the bottom. You get that roundness on the bottom. I don't want to have the iris to be perfectly round at the bottom. I want the bottom eyelid just to cut it off a little bit. We're going to use a warmer skin tone. Start add the tear duct a little bit, get a little bit of warmer pink. Pink skin tone down here.
if you have more of the flesh tone left over when you paint your face you don't have to worry about being too perfect you can come back over and clean the edge up with that lighter flesh tone while we're in here let's go ahead and accent the recessed areas around the eyes on the brow see we have a pretty good looking set of eyes now without the eyebrows it will look a little funny once we come back in and paint the eyebrows should look really good i want to paint the lips as well Let's do a quick little touch up at the bottom of the eyes. You that little pink edge really thin. Make it look like the edge of the eyelid. I think that should about wrap up the Alpine Eyes. I uh, hope this was helpful, and I appreciate everyone watching the video. Please like, share. Uh, if you have any questions, comment down below. I'll catch you all next time.